All right, so here we are back with another engine video. And today I'm going to show you guys how we're going to flip this intake manifold right around. All right, but before we even get to the video, I want to thank the Ultima Owners Group, NP, for helping us out on how to do this properly. Okay, it's actually fairly simple. All you need is a couple parts. And I guess you could say we went for the easiest way. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys in a minute. But all I want you guys to do now is just sit back and enjoy this. All right, so all you need to do first is remove these beautiful bolts that connect the intake manifold right to the engine crate right here. And the way we did that is we actually used a pattern. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. So you got number one, two, three, four, five, and so on. All right, so the way it goes, that's the front. So as is on the engine originally, this is gonna be left side and that's gonna be the right side. Rear, of course. And you can take a screenshot if you like. I mean, that's a lot easier. <laughs> and these brackets came on the intake manifold originally. I mean, we'll use them if there's even a need for them. If not, whatever, we'll scrap. Another part that we did not need is this one that would be fitted on the Camaro originally or the Corvette. But since it's an Ultima mid-engine car, there's absolutely no need for that. So as for now, that's all you need to do. First step, I'll show you guys as this lose in a minute. So it's pretty light, pretty nice. Another thing that we already did is we actually removed the exhaust manifolds, okay? Because the Ultima one is getting ceramic coated right about now. Here we have it, intake manifold out of the picture for now. And as you can see, we have our valley cover right here with the openings that you can see the valves right in there, which is absolutely beautiful, just a work of art. So the way you go about this is that this sensor, as you can see, would eventually get in the way of this part when you flip it around. So we need to do what we, you could do is you could either cut that up, you know, adjust it up. If you have more experience, that is no problem at all. But for us, what we do is we bought it ready. Okay, so from K-Tech, all you need to do is just put this adapter right on here when you remove that up, of course. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> and all you need to do is just, you, we need an extension for this, okay, to fit right on there. But other than that, it's not a problem at all. That's all you would need to do. And I'm gonna show you guys a video of us going through this process just now. All right, so here we have it. The intake manifold finally flipped around and it fitted absolutely perfect. This K-Tech Valley cover was absolutely a work of art. And I will post the torque settings right in the description down below. That helped us a lot. At, at first, we had to ask around. We asked Pete. And then he gave us his paper with every single torque that this engine would need. So that saves our lives pretty well. All we used was really a Canadian tire torque, uh, torque wrench. So that was absolutely perfect. Oh, and we also got the exhaust ceramic coated. Rated to 2,000 degrees. Corrosion protected. This thing is absolutely nuts. We, we still can't fit it yet. But of course, we got excited. So we're going to put it on you know, where it should, put, should be. And it's just starting to look more like an engine, right? And we can't wait. So I hope this video helped you guys. And till next engine video. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro.